Hey guys, Blender Beetle here. Welcome to another tutorial. I know I've already put up a tutorial today, but there was a post that I saw on the uh, Open Tunes Google group um, by ComputerArtClub at gmail.com. Computer Art Club is a really awesome person who is currently teaching a group of middle, middle school, no, elementary school students how to use open tunes and so I was really excited to keep watching what this guy is doing and one of the things he said that was the problem was they couldn't use the save all button um, because they had to save things in the open tunes folder and they couldn't figure out how to move things to USB sticks so I thought I would do a video real quick on a possible solution. I'm not sure exactly if this will work for everybody, but hopefully it will. So first thing you want to do is open up OpenTunes because you can't do anything without the program open. Now I'm going to make a new scene real quick. Um, make a new project, sorry. And I'm going to call this Bland, I guess. I don't know. And just name all my folders here. And for I'm not exactly sure if this is what you mean by it, but I could not, um, for the life of me, figure out how to explain this in words. So I have I'm gonna make a video real quick showing what I'm talking about, and hopefully this helps. So I'm just gonna make a quick throwaway throwaway scene here. We're gonna call this version 001, and then let's say we wanna make another level just to show that it works for everything so save all so right now I have everything saved in the bland project folder in my project root folder so I'm gonna go show folder contents and if you'll notice the no nice thing about the way OpenTune stuff works is you've got a folder and then everything is just folders with with uh, pictures in it so we're gonna just close this out here because we don't need it anymore and I'm going to actually make a file on my desktop because I don't have a USB with me at the moment, but the concept is just the same. So we're going to call this we're going to call this USB. So in the USB, if we open up USB, you'll uh, you'll notice because we have a nice little file folder over here, we can just drag and drop bland into our USB. Now the one problem with this is when you open up OpenTunes again. We already know it's not in our project root folder. If we go to all this funky things to get to uh, my desktop, because I probably should have saved it in uh, documents. That's easier to get to. Desktop. If you go to USB and Bland, one thing you'll notice is Bland is not treated like a project folder. You're going to have levels in, levels in here just fine. I think levels get saved. You'll have levels in here just fine and you'll have scenes in here but if you want to load the scene it's going to ask you if you want to import. To fix that upon startup all you have to do close this out real quick is take USB and oopsie this screen this uh, window is way too small. Take your USB Take Bland and just drag it straight back to Projects. When you open up OpenTunes, it's going to be in the Project folder right there, ready to use just the way that you have the whole time. So I'm not sure if this is exactly your problem, but if it is, that's the way to fix it. It's not going to be treated like a project when it's outside of your Project folder, but every time you drag it back into your Project folder, it'll be treated like a project no problems whatsoever, it loads scenes just fine, it saves scenes perfectly, and uh, your levels will also be saved just the way that it normally would work. Because of the way that the OpenTunes file system works, it's only going to recognize the, uh, the, there is a thing here called bland.opentunes project which has got all this stuff in here and honestly I don't know what all this stuff means I'm not a programmer but it's only going to recognize that as making it a project if it's in the OpenTunes stuff folder and while it's outside of it you can still put files in here you can still even edit these things because they're just individual drawings so if you wanted to take them and say do some color corrections in Photoshop or whatever art program you're using then when you load it back up and you load your files, 
they should actually change with your adjustments because it's looking at these right here. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that made a lot of sense and I hope that actually was your problem. Otherwise this whole fast speaking tutorial was com uh, completely silly of me to do. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. If this did help, let me know. I'd love to hear. And if this doesn't work, but it is your question, let me know and I'll see if I can find another solution. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And for those of you on YouTube, don't forget to comment and subscribe.